Hello, I'm Jelle for Callis Nines Worldwide and today we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Pull Up and Dip Fitness Parallels. So let's get into it. Ta-da! So Pull Up and Dip is mostly known for their mobile pull up bar, but nowadays they have all kinds of parallels as well. So today we'll be discussing the fitness parallels, which are made of steel. They don't come assembled, so like there's an assembly instructions right here. So let's put this thing together. This is one of the parallels. Um, it is not rocket science to put together. Sometimes you need to aim a little bit with the bolts to get it like straight in. Another thing is that this thing comes delivered so you have everything that you need to put it together. If you take the long side and put that in, you have more space to turn it around. If you use the small one, it's uh, good for at the end, like really tightening the bolts, but it does hit the feet of the parallels. Actually most of the bolts you can just like put in with your fingers first. Thank you, danke, gracias, merci and grazie. So this is a little thank you note by the Pull Up and Dip team as you can see them over here. Also it comes with a free ebook with 37 exercises for these parallels. Not just these, of course, also for the other parallels that they have. And they come with four extra bolts and extra protection circles. Let me tell you a little bit more about the details about these parallels. All right, so first thing we want to tell you is that Pull Up and Dip has quite a lot of different parallels that they offer. On this one, they have a Pull Up and Dip logo on the side, by the way, and this is the highest parallel out of them all. It's also the only steel parallel that they have. The other ones are actually made of birch wood. The other ones are the medium parallels, the low parallels, and also they have push-up bars. Those are all also with a oval grip, but these have a rounded grip. And this is actually 3.8 centimeters in width and this is 4.4 centimeters in width. Because in the middle, as you can see, there is actually a rubber cover. Even with sweaty hands, it's still a super nice grip. Also, the, the steel has a nice grip as well. If you get too sweaty though, you can also use some chalk, of course, to, to fix it. But this also is very nice because it's softer than the steel. And also, if you take it outside, then this will get a little bit less cold than this part over here. This one is 43 centimeters in height. So the medium one is actually 30 centimeters in height. And the width of this one is 35 and of the medium parallax is 25. Stability wise, that's basically the same. And these weigh 5.6 kilograms and they can all actually handle 200 kilograms in weight. Another nice thing that Pull Up and Dip added to these parallels are these six step actual rubber feet. These are made so that if you turn them around, you can add a couple of millimeters like to the parallels on specifically that feet. So that's super nice, a very innovative idea because sometimes if you are training on an uneven surface like and your parallel is wobbling a bit, this can be quite unsafe. It prevents your parallax from sliding and it doesn't leave any marks on the floor. Another nice thing about training with these kind of high parallels is that you can do decline and incline push-ups and also because you are training with parallels, you can use a neutral grip, which is very nice for injury prevention as well. We think that high parallels are very good because they have a lot of versatility. You can do a lot of different exercises on it and it's very good for beginners as well because for instance, when you're doing an L-sit to a handstand and if you're practicing that, it's much harder on low parallels. They also deliver a free uh, ebook with 37 different exercises that you can do on the parallels. So you can get a lot of inspiration from there. But for instance, you can do like V sits, L sits, you can do planche progressions as well on these parallels, frog stands, elbow planches, you can do handstand, handstand push ups, and all kinds of push ups as well. Another thing you can do because these are very high are uh, chair dips. That is usually not possible with lower parallels. If you're gonna, for instance, do push-ups or 90 degree push-ups, with these, you can go very low. If you want to do any exercises, like for instance, the Maltese or wide handstands or something like that, 
then of course we would consider getting lower parallels because then you have a lot more stability but um, of course you have less range of motion as mentioned before you can do a lot of hard exercise on these because you can go lower on them. For beginners, this is super nice, but for beginners, it's very hard to, for instance, kick up into a handstand because these are very high. So that's something to consider as well. If you start out as a beginner, like having low parallels to kick up, that might be easier for you. All right, so to conclude, we really love these parallels by pull up and dip. We really love them because they have these anti-slip covers over here, the rubber ones. They don't slip and also the parallels are very stable. Partly because of these like uh, six step actual feet, which you can use to adjust your parallax to be stable anywhere. So you can take them to the gym, you can take them to the calisthenics park and these parallax will be safe anywhere to train with. So you can do a lot of exercises on these parallax because they are high and they're very good for beginners. In general, we also love pull up and dip because it's a brand that really makes a lot of high quality products. We do have an affiliation with the brand. So if you want to get any of the products, you can go into the description. There will be a link there and we do get to offer you a discount code, which is CWW10. So you can get 10% off on any of the products of pull up and dip. We hope we helped you with making your decision. We hope you liked our video and we want to thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day.